the project basically came about um, so, like originally um, some years ago uh, when I visited the Kosovo uh, for the first time or Pristina uh, in, in uh, particular and um, the project is about a ruined church uh, within the very city center of Pristina and um, it's right there sitting in its ruined state and nobody really knows what to do with it. Um, so I, you know, I started research about it because back then there was no real research um, you could look up. So basically the first step was to, to actually kind of um, like reveal anything that, uh, that was there. Uh, so I, coming from an architectural background, uh, we just started looking at like spatial formations and how this church actually came there because it's such a kind of eerie and weird uh, uh, church for, for uh, this, this part of Pristina. So um, within that we kind of came to, um, yeah, to know that this is actually uh, a political sim symbol. Uh, and it's still there, nobody knows what to do with it. Um, and our research right now is not into what to actually do with it, but rather, you know, kind of uh, thinking about or speculating about uh, what it could actually initiate um, beyond it actu its actual ar architectural state. So we are thinking about some sort of platform um, this is also the idea, so to speak, we handed in for this platform. Uh, it's a case study uh, that we would like to connect to other case studies of uh, like equally contested heritage throughout Europe, uh, possibly. And um, yeah, that's so like it's an ongoing investigation since since I don't know like 2015. The reason I got involved in the project is uh, precisely what Martin just mentioned: the notion that architecture goes beyond the mere built structure that it shows and that we can see, right? It embodies a political, a social, an economical, um, you name it, you know, def different levels of uh, what our culture is about. And uh, that's something that interests me very much as a publisher because I think when we treat architecture not only as the beautiful object that stands in the landscape, uh, then we have a real chance to connect to the people that actually use architecture as opposed to just talk about architecture with architects, by architects. And uh, that's something I'm interested in uh, for our books. And um, so I'm hoping that with this project we're, we'll be able to you know, bring this notion uh, forward. Okay, perfect. Just the last thing, what you both expect from um, <laughs> event here? Do you have an answer for this? <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about it. I think I'll I'll leave it at the, um, uh, what I just said. I think like for us it would be interesting to uh, actually first of all like take a first step and because this is one of the first uh, venues to actually kind of show it to the public uh, in this sense. So this is one thing where we just like to you know get an immediate feedback on that, and then of course we would like to you know like partner with institutions that have sort of a stake in that uh, and uh, would think this idea further with us. Uh, I think that's for us was always the, the idea behind the research. It was never about like, okay, so it has to be a final and complete yeah. project, but rather it should initiate and that's yeah, what, what, what we can expect, I think.